do things right. You know, whenever I put my hands to things, it seems like things fail. And I, I don't like mistakes. So I, like, <clears throat> I like to try to make things right. So if I find I mean, any mistake, I feel like I didn't do it right. But Yahweh, when he does a thing, <laughs> it's well done. Well done. So I'm glad to be here in the house of Yahweh. It's good to see David and Sandra here this morning. Yes, it is. And the beautiful child, you know. There's no other better place to be at than here in the house of Yahweh. That's right. Regardless of what your flesh may say. That's right. Regardless, because your flesh is going to tell you anything else other than being here. That's right. It's going to tell you that you're tired or you put in too many hours or right. you could have got some extra sleep this morning. That's right. But the flesh is always going to be contrary to the spirit. Always. So regardless, you know, you made a better choice by being here this morning. Yes, Lord. But I know that one day is given to every man, it's appointed to every man to die once. Yes. And after the death is judgment. So I'm glad to be here so I can <clears throat> find myself, you know, where I need to stand at with Yahweh. Where he wants me to be at this morning. Hallelujah. Right. We're all here for one purpose, and that's for salvation. That's right. So let us prepare our hearts to receive the word this morning. Amen. Let us all stand and rise as we bring forth our beloved Apostle Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. And everyone can be seated. We want to thank the Almighty for blessing us to be back here. Amen. One more time in the house that is called by his name, we give him all the glory and honor that is due to him. We thank him for a place where we can come in and hear words commanded of him. Yes, Lord. And if we do well, if we praise Yahweh, walk in his light. Amen. 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 I've been serving the Lord since... I was 20 years old, and the Lord allowed me to see 54 years. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I can say that the majority of my life has been dedicated to him. And I'm, I'm so grateful that he brought me out, out of a world of sin into this great, marvelous light of his. Yes, Lord. And, and I'm so thankful for that. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I realize that being in the church has it's been the best thing that ever happened to me. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm thankful for that. Amen. It is his words that keeps me, amen, keep me alive and keep me going on. Amen. Hallelujah. It has definitely been the answer, amen, to all my problems. Yes, Lord. I realize that when I trust him to his word that everything works together for good for me. That's right. Hallelujah. Got up this morning, thanking Yahweh. I got up kind of early this morning, and, and uh, begin to thank Yahweh for my wife and the children that the Lord have given unto me, and my grandkids. Amen. But most of all, I'm, I'm grateful that He allowed me to be part of this ministry. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. I know that what we have here is real. That's right. And I know that it's true. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I wouldn't exchange it for nothing in the world <clears throat> hallelujah because his word is what keeps us it helps us to overcome i was just listen to the testimony of you that was testifying earlier the words of the lord is right hallelujah and one thing about it it, it is no it has no respect to person listen to my daughter testifying and i remember uh, those days that she just shared with us I remember when uh, her and her husband, they were having financial problems and they was going through some things. And, and I saw how she was looking at Teacher Davis and Sister Cody and then how, for as financial wise, it seemed like they was getting somewhere in life and she wanted that too. But she wanted it now. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister... Uh, 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 Cody would testify of what the Lord is doing for them in their marriage and hallelujah and she would share about the places that they was going and was doing and Rachel felt like she was left out her and her marriage they felt like they was left out Amen. they wasn't getting nowhere hallelujah. hallelujah and one thing about our countenance it doesn't it doesn't you know it speaks the truth it speaks the truth about us. You know, we can say what well, we don't have any problem, but you, you can't just tell off on you every time. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So I told us that, baby, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not fighting like you should fight. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you, you ought to be happy for, praise y'all, you ought to be happy for Sister Nicole. That's right. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember telling that you ought to be happy for Nicole. Because mm-hmm. if you're not happy for Nicole, you're not going to appreciate what God has given unto you. You're not going to appreciate your husband. Amen. You won't appreciate, yeah, amen, your, your, your health and the strength. Right. You won't appreciate how God provides for you. Yeah. I said, so the scriptures don't say it's in vain that we should rejoice with them that do rejoice. It's the reason why that's in the scripture. Because, amen, it's our nature not to do that. That's right. We can, I, I can rejoice with you if everything going well with me too. No, it, it, it's not set up that way. Hallelujah. We should, we're supposed to rejoice with them that do rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because your blessing is going to come after a while if you don't, if you don't faint along the way. You, you're always going to bless you too. He, he, he don't love you no less than he loved the one sitting next to you. Hallelujah. So we have to learn to rejoice with them that do rejoice. Hallelujah. So we want to, it's important that we walk according to the scriptures. We do that. Everything will be well with us. I want to call your attention to the book of Romans, the eighth chapter. As long as you're doing the, and as long as you're fighting the good fight of faith, and you're overcoming the wicked one, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Romans 8 chapter, Paul will begin the right to the church in Rome, and these are his words to them. Romans 8 and 1. Uh-huh. It is written, mm-hmm. there is therefore now no there condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation. To them. Spirit, whatever the Spirit said, they don't lie. No, it don't. It never has. You, you know, one thing about it, we can't rejoice unless we're in the Word. That's right. Stop and think about it. We come to the place, a place where the, the Word is read. That's right. Now, we're not at the cowboy game this morning. Ain't no one quoting Roman 8 at the cowboy game. No, no, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you're not going to be offended. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Amen. But we, we, we at, we, we, we're at the church right now. Yeah. And so in this way we'll find out that you can't be happy unless you stay in the word. So the Spirit says, there is therefore now no condemnation. To them which are in Yeshua Messiah. If you're in Yeshua the Messiah, there is no condemnation. That's right. Hallelujah. So she had to slow down enough and say, wait a minute, let me rejoice with my, with my sister. Amen. Hallelujah. I told her it's not going to always be like that. No. Not always like that. That's you just, right. just be patient. Go to work like you're supposed to go. Yes, People don't work, can't, go, can't do nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have to work. Praise God. Go to work. Work. Amen. I uh, thank you always for the testimony of Teacher David. See, see, with a mind like that, room will, uh, the spirit will make room for you. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. You don't have to quit your job and go get something else that someone else got. Just work hard on your job. Yes. Amen. Do what you're supposed to do and watch what the spirit do for you. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. I, see, I, I know my testimony how, amen, I quit uh, advertising liquor, right. which yes. I was doing pretty good advertising liquor, yes, and became a janitor. Huh? Amen. And became a janitor. Yes. Making five oh three an hour. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 Left of making fourteen dollars an hour to five oh three an hour. Yes, but after coming and hearing the word of God, I wanted to serve God and do the right thing. And the Spirit said, it's good for us to work with our hand in that which was good. good. What I didn't want to, amen, uh, advertise and promote liquor. Right. Right. That's right. Amen. amen. So I started low. Yes, Lord. 503 an hour. I didn't worry about it. Amen. I came to the church and heard the word. I was, one, I was, I, I was determined to allow the word to conform me. Trust Yahweh to his word that he'd do all the things he said he would do. Right. I left him making 503 an hour. Amen. Working at South Grand Prairie High School as a custodian. Right. Cleaning, out, cleaning, cleaning up after kids and teachers. Amen. Same school I went to, same school I went to is the same school I worked at after I dropped out of school. I remember saying the same teacher that told me, son, I told you, that's why I told you to stay in school. Mm-hmm. I told you so. I tried my best. You remember how I tried to try my best to keep you in school for this reason. Before it's all over, with, I was making more money than they was making, and they were still teaching. Right. Amen. Don't tell me what God won't do for you. If you just trust him to his word, don't tell me what he can't do. 
Don't tell me he can't take that little you got. I was making more money before it's all over with. Within what, three years, Carrie? Three years. I mean, I remember them days my wife and I, we couldn't do much making 503. Couldn't go nowhere, couldn't buy no suit. I was always at Thrift Town buying suits. Couldn't eat no red lobster. Long John Silver got our money. It wasn't Papa Dose. Captain D. Hallelujah. Buying pieces here, pieces there, and, and putting clothes together and all that old kind of stuff. Couldn't do nothing, couldn't go nowhere. Looked around, saw the folks in church, see how they was moving forward. They were having this car and going there and all that kind of stuff. And, amen? But I came, one thing about it, every time I came to the house of Yahweh, I came to hear what the Spirit had to say to me. And when the Spirit, amen, told me to wait on the Lord, and again I say wait, I knew that's what I had to do. I had to, amen, when the spirits that rejoice with them that do rejoice, that's when I had to make myself do that. I had to make myself line up. Find a, find, a, find a way to rejoice with them that do rejoice. And find a way to weep with them that do weep. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Amen? Are y'all listening to me? Y'all always knew it was on my heart, and from that point, he always put me in a position where I was able to help somebody. Oh, my barbecue, we be patient. Watch what happened. Watch what happened. If we just be patient. We got a good product, don't we, Mother Kathy? Got a real good product. It's so good. I know, I mean, I, I mean, it's wonderful. I mean, I don't want none of it no more, but it's good. I'm tired of barbecue. It is delicious, though. It is good, though. Don't get me wrong, but I, I don't want no... Don't invite, you barbecue, don't invite me over to your house. I, don't, I probably won't show up. Now, I might show up about some spaghetti. I don't care too much about that, but I think I'd rather have spaghetti over barbecue right now because I, I see that every day. I don't want no barbecue. Are well, y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? But the Yahweh always bless and made a way. He'll do the same thing for you, too. If you wait on the Lord, right. and you have to wait on them too. Yes, Are y'all listening to me? Yes, Amen. And while we're waiting, we want to stay in the Word, stay right with them. Because right. the Spirit says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them, which are to in them that are in who? Yeshua, Yeshua the, Messiah, the Messiah. Who, walk who after don't the walk flesh. out because of our flesh, if we listen to it, if we listen to our flesh, yeah. how many of you ever got in trouble just by listening to your flesh? It, it, it leads you wrong every time, don't every it? Every time. It leads you wrong no, every right. time. That's right. Never fail. That's right. It leads you wrong every time, don't it? Every time. Every time. Give you a reason why you shouldn't be happy for that brother. Sure will. That's right. That's right. Flesh, dude. You only your flesh point out what you don't have and what they do have. Your flesh point out everything ain't working for you and how it's working for everything for the Chillers family. That's right. That's right. My daughter said, and she shared that to me. I said, share it with the church. The saint need to hear your testimony. Because sometimes people forget where we come from. Right. So, amen. Hey, hallelujah. Yes, hey, amen. We got a younger couple, uh, Davion and, and uh, 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 Sarah Lee. Uh -huh. See, we, we expect for that younger couple to do better than what we did. All these examples that they have in front of them, we expect them to do better. You that been married for 50 years and still ain't been nowhere, and 50 years they haven't been nowhere. Amen. For other place you ever been is with the church when we go witnesses. <laughs> but other than that, you don't go nowhere. That's right. Yes, Lord. But they young, they come in and see all our mistakes and hear and learn and decide not to go down those same routes. That's right. That's right. Yes, huh? Yes. Y'all young, young, young people supposed to learn. Listen to the old and learn from them. That's right. And the old got to stay in the spirit. That's right. Yes, Lord. Yes. Can't let envy get come in, because envy come in, you, you'd be trying to talk them out of stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> y'all need to be going down there on y'all honeymoon. Well, they got the money to go, because you couldn't go nowhere on your honeymoon. That's right. Try to make them feel bad, because when I, when my wife, when he got married, And 
they're in the position. They got it. Amen. We got to learn to wait on God. Y'all listen to me, brothers and sisters. Yes, Be happy for one another. Amen. Be happy for one another. Amen. Be happy for one another. Be happy. You don't say to come in and destroy your marriage. Yes, he will. Yes, Lord. Yeah, destroy your marriage. Yes, Lord. That's why the Bible said the work of the flesh is manifested, which is these. It talks about jealousy. Yes. It talks about envy. It, it speaks about malice. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yes, Lord. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yes, Come on, read now. Amen. There is therefore, there now, is no therefore now no condemnation to them, to them that are in Messiah, Yeshua the Messiah, who, walk not after who don't the flesh, walk after the flesh, but, after, but the after the Spirit. For the law of the, spirit, the, law of of the spirit of life in Yeshua Messiah. In who? In who? Yeshua Messiah. You, you ain't living unless you're in him. Not living. That's you're right. not living unless you're in him. That's right. You're not living unless you're in him. That's right. That's when life begins. That, amen. That's why that's you know, I know when I was before I came this way, I was a dancer. I had people, I had many, many folks that, that wanted to be June bug. Right. They wish they was June bug. Traveling different places, my dance group, and we, and we would dance and perform. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I remember after coming to the church and hearing the word, and, this, and, and my mind was made up, I was going to let the world go right. and serve the Lord. Be holy, just like he wanted me to be, to be holy. I remember, and after I had quit my job and got a uh, uh, quit uh, advertising look and became a janitor at the Grand Prairie Independent School District, there was a, a couple of guys that came and worked for me there. And they said, man, I remember you. He said, when I heard that you stopped dancing, I thought, I thought that you, you, you went crazy. I mean, why would you do something like that? You had it made. He said, you'd be surprised how many, how many men wanted, would, would love, would, you know, trade places with you. Right. Yes, Lord. And I looked and I said, you thought I had it? He said, you, you had it. I said, you, you believe that I had it? You, you had it. I said, then evidently I must have got something better. That's right. Evidently I must have something far more better That's right. than out there shaking my boo thing, boo thing. Groove thing, the whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, shake your groove thing. That's what it is. So, yeah, yeah you, you know, that, that thing. Shaking that thing. He said, show them how to do it now. I said, evidently, what I have now got to be more precious because you never had it out there and you wish you would pl trade places with me. So, evidently, what I have now it got a, it's a better trade off That's right. than what I had before. That's right. you, amen? You're not living until the Lord, until the Lord is in you. That's right. You're not happy. Hallelujah. You, you, ne you can never be thankful nor grateful. Because without the Lord, you don't know how to be grateful. You don't know how to be thankful. You won't, you won't even know how to appreciate even the breath that you breathe in every day. Hallelujah. Y'all, we give us life. We that have the Lord living in us, we give thanks because he woke us up this morning. Not because all the bills are paid. You pay all my bills, then I be thankful. A young brother talking about how they wanted to run off with the money. Mm -hmm. Well, living for the Lord keep you from doing stuff like that. That's right. That's right. How, how little Robert going to feel? Run off with the money, got to come to church in the morning and get a whooping. Yes. All right. Have you been there before? Yes. Disobey to come to church and get whooped. Straight whooped. And you say it wasn't even worth it. You, you learn it's not even worth it to go country. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Michelle said, when I sang that song, I want to be right. Y'all getting this here, brother and sister? Yes, Lord. Come on, read. 
Amen. For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life. In Yeshua Messiah. In what? What? In who? In Yeshua is Messiah. in Yeshua the Messiah. Has made me has free, made me from, free the from the law, from of, the sin law of sin. That all that stuff that has me condemned. That's right. There's a lot of stuff out there can have us condemned. A lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff we can get involved in. Sure is. I can get. I can have an attitude if I want to. You know. Want to? That's right. Know how to get I, I know how to get an attitude. Yeah, right. I, I I know how to be ugly. I know how to be ugly. Right, right, easy. I know how to act like I don't care. Yes. Hmm? That's right. I'm in the car. I know how to make sure that even you don't get in front of me when you want to enter. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Squeeze you out. Squeeze you out and all that old kind of stuff. <laughs> That's right. But see, look, with see, Yeshua will free us from all that stuff. That's right. We we rather overcome evil. We're good. We're good. That's right. and, and, and it's not something we just 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 you know just ease to do. We gotta make ourselves do these things. That's right. That's right. Yes. Many times I had to make myself rejoice with, with Deacon Burston. Y'all know the testimony with him. Yes, sir. But amen. amen. He he you know he went around and called himself Chief Deacon. And you'd be surprised how we ready to be bent out of shape because of what folks do. You can't allow what folks do bend you all out of shape. <laughs> Much as I, amen, I didn't like it either. And I wanted Ella Bush to do something about it, and he didn't do nothing about it. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about this morning? Do you want the preacher to do something about it? And we don't do nothing but go over to hug and say, hey, you're all right, I love you. You know, you're all right. <laughs> then you get all upset and mad and say, amen, is that right? Then you talk about if that were me, he would have never let me get away with it. That, that's right. Because <laughs> you know better. All right. You walk in the darkness. That's right. There's those saying people say, you know, they belt. And then say, excuse me, pig don't know better. Well, then if you know better than a pig, then why you want to do it? All right. <laughs> pig don't know better. <laughs> I don't know why they say that. Excuse me, pig don't know better. Why are you compare yourself to the pig when you know better? I just look at them like something wrong with them when they do that. Yeah, you got it. Amen. Come on, watch the word here. Amen. For what the law could not do. And it can't do it. In that it There's nothing needed. in the world out there going to help you. Right. Amen. Amen. You want your marriage to work out, you're going to you need him. That's right. It ain't going to work out. No, it's not. If, if your marriage not going to work out, not without him, he ain't. You be thinking you're living together. They, all right, but keep living. See what happens. That's right. Without the Lord, it end up like all other marriage, bro broken up. That's right. A statistic. Broken up. Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he ain't got the Lord in his life, and you ain't got the Lord in your life. How do you expect your marriage going to work out? It, don't, it won't work out without him. Only the Lord can mend that that is broken. That's right. So the just thing she was saying there, and she just, think, just didn't want to love him. Well, that's an adventure that you get to that point. Amen. So you need the Lord to keep the love going. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Are y'all listening to me? That's he right. said, I come to mend the broken hearts. Broken hearts. That that is broken. Amen. If you, if you abide in me and I abide, abide in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't help but the same work out. It, go, it will work out. Will work because he'll teach you how to overcome. Him. Amen. Then you are testify on his behalf that the Lord is a way maker. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? Watch the word read on now. For what the law could not do. What the law could not do because it was weak through the flesh. Yahweh sending his son. He sent his son in the likeness of, sinful, likeness flesh. of sinful flesh. And for sin. And for sin. Condemned he sin condemned in the flesh. sin in the flesh. That the righteousness, that the of, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled, might be fulfilled, in, fulfilled us, in us. Who walk not who after, don't the walk flesh, after what, 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 what? After the flesh. Uh, we, 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 get mad like, we can get mad like everybody else. We can handle a situation like everybody else. That's right. The natural way. That's right. Hmm? That's right. I said we can handle situations just like everybody else, but we don't walk after the flesh. No, we don't. Want to, but we won't just won't do it. Some kind of way we find the strength we need to overcome our flesh. Yes. 
Watch the word read on. Who walk not after, walk the, flesh, not after the flesh, but, after the, but spirit. after the spirit. For they that are for after they the flesh, that is after what? What? After what? The flesh, those that are after the flesh, do mind they the do things mind the, the things. Uh, if you're after the flesh, you do mind the things of the flesh. That's yeah. right. You have the flesh, and you don't have a problem with our dress code in the church. That's right. Yes. You uh, don't you know? If you're after the flesh, you're gonna have a problem with the dress code in the church. Spirit gonna want you to cover your breasts up, but you think you got them. That's right. They both, you know, even. That's right. <laughs> you ain't got one after the other over there. <laughs> now, now, some women who, who messed up like they don't mind covering up. Right. But when you know you got it. Yeah. Up and down. Up. <laughs> They're already ashamed. They're already ashamed. When it's like that, they already ashamed. They don't want nobody to see. All right. So when we come to you, say the Bible says, in like manner also, that women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. All right. Hey Amen. You're supposed to be shamefaced and in sobriety. Not with That's part of your salvation. You have to cover yourself up. That's right. All right. Hallelujah. Brothers, we have to cover ourselves up. And when you're after the flesh, you're going to have a problem and say, well, you know, we don't wear shorts. No. Hmm? That's right. No, we don't wear tight dresses. You, well, you, First Timothy 2 you, and You're going to have a problem. That's right. Go get a tattoo. Some mess we against. Now, you get a tattoo on this left side. Is that the right side? That's the right side, left to y'all. Right you left us, yeah. our left side. You're going to want to show it. That's right. That's why, you got it. That's why you got it. You didn't get nothing. No one go get a tattoo to keep it to themselves. A private tattoo, no. They want to show you. That's right. Amen. So you, amen. You, and then you come to church, the spirit says, you got to cover it up. You say, well, I spend too much money. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, and, and, and if you're after the flesh, you're going to have a problem. Y'all yes, mean y'all can't wear no short? You can't at home? Yeah, all you want. You can get naked at home if you want to. Just don't come outside looking like that. That's right. Well, I know that. In your home, you can do what you want. The Bible said, do you not have houses to eat, yes. to right. drink in? Yes. So you're in your house up thinking about it, just... Yeah, freedom. You free, you free. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. That's right. That's right. That's right. No holes barred. Teacher David, no you at home? Barred. We don't need to know nothing about your show, green shorts you wear. <laughs> How tight they are and all that old kind of stuff. Volleyball shorts. <laughs> <laughs> between, that's between you and Cody. <laughs> no, the Rob? No, Lord. Volleyball shorts and all that. Yeah, we don't, we, we, don't, we don't need to know about what these are about you, what she likes, you like to see you in. Just don't come outside with it. Don't come outside, amen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Superman outfit. <laughs> yeah, you can. You wear a Superman outfit at the house. That's right. Good Lord. <laughs> when you come out of them door, we expect for you to be holy. That's right. <laughs> we expect, amen. We expect everybody to be holy. What did Timothy say that? Timothy 2 and 9. First Timothy 2 and 9. First okay. Timothy 2 and 9. It is written. It's written there. In like manner also. In 1 Timothy 2 and 9, in like manner, not only that man got to do this, women got to do it also. That's right. Women got to be like this also. That's right. Women have to be this way also. Not only men, but women too. That women adorn themselves. That women adorn themselves. In modest and apparel. And what kind of apparel? Modest apparel. What kind of apparel? Modest apparel. What kind of apparel? Modest apparel. That means you can't wear anything you want to wear. 
I don't care you've been in church for 40 years. You start walking in the flesh. Yeah. That's right. You're going to start having problems with the very thing you had no problem with. That's yeah, right. All of a sudden, it's a problem. Now, all of a sudden, the problem. Yeah. Yes, Lord. You still believe in modesty. Yes, right. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Sometimes, since coming to Rome, kind of heals. Amen. Yeah, some heels don't, just don't belong in. You just don't belong in certain heels. Amen. That's right. You can come into church with the wrong kind of hat. That's right. I had seen sisters go out there and buy hats that look like men hats and want to come to church with it. They didn't get that from the church. Amen. Then you go get sisters get a hat that take up three chairs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, with feathers and birds. And, and no one can sit next to them but t kids. Nobody sit behind them. They ain't no, you know, no hat like that. They ain't no sisters need no hat like that. <laughs> That's right. Birds and stuff on there. Peacocks on it and all that old kind of stuff. Yeah. That's right. The Bible said modest apparel. With shame faces. And the church gonna tell you what is modest. What's modest? That's right. It's not your modesty. No. It's, it's the modesty that the church set up. That's right. In the book of Corinthians, the Bible said, Paul said, God said in the church, government. Government. Government in the church. In the church. And the scripture said, let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Yes, sir. Are y'all getting it this morning? That's right. Hallelujah. It said, yeah. in modest apparel. With shame faces. With what, 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 what? Hey, Amen. What are they, certain clothes we put on, what ought, what ought to be ashamed to put them on? That's right. That means you can't wear anything you want to wear and talking about you love God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. The church is not like the Baptist church when they say God, God don't, or God don't want your clothes. All he wants is your heart. Well, this, this, do this verse sound like God don't care, care, care about your clothes? This sound like you do care, don't you? So when the, you so you have people out there lying on God, yes. talking about God don't want your clothes, He just wants your heart. Why? 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 why can you explain to me why God just wants your heart? Right. Right. And that's all He wants. That's all. You just stay just like you are and just give God your heart. God don't want your heart. Right. Just your heart. He wanted. He made everything about you, did He? That's right. He didn't just make your heart. He He, he didn't make only the heart. He made everything about you, and he, and, he made, and he made you to be holy. He made us to be just like him. He's not sexy. No, he's not. He's not cool. No, he ain't. He's not jivey. No. He's holy. That's why it's written in the book, be holy. God said, I want you to be holy just like I am holy. So, amen. So we don't buy anything to turn the opposite sex our way or the same sex. Because some folks get clever. We're all the same sex. Everything we buy it ought to be, it, 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 is this pleasing in his sight? Not if I, I'm wearing this, I'm going to knock the eyes out when I go to work tomorrow morning. God don't want you knocking folks' eyes out. God wants you to put on something and folks see you. That's why I teach you, David, look at you and they say, you're a holy man, the way you carry yourself. Amen. 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 Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Yes. So it says what there? In like manner in also. Like manner also women adorn women themselves should in adorn, apparel. Women should what, what, what? Adorn themselves. Adorn themselves. Adorn themselves. Themself. Put on these kind of clothes. Yeah. Modest apparel. Put on these kind of clothes. That's right. Modest apparel. With shame faces. And they ought to have, they ought, and you should be shame faced. And sobriety. And with some, some soberness about yourself. That's right. With some soberness about yourself. That's right. Looking at you can have a dress on, but the dress too tight. You need to be sober. Enough to say, well, I can't wear this here. Right. Ten years ago, you was able to wear it. But you had Frankie, Melvin, Melvin. Felicia, Felicia. Felicia, and Tina. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Now you can't, you can't get in it no more. I mean, you can get in it. 
You, you can get in it. So you got to be sober enough to say, well, this thing is just too tight. I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm holy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You may have to do some jumping jacks for, for a month or two, and you maybe can get back in it. But till then, you're supposed to say, I'm holy. I can't wait. You got to be sober. You have to be sober-minded. Sober. With sobriety. Not with bright not, hair. Not with what, 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 what? what? Y'all get this here, brother and sister? That's right. I mean, you can't do anything you, with your hair. You can't do. Brother, you just can't cut your hair any kind of way. Oh, right. Lord. You can always know when the spirit disapproves. Oh, yeah. Come to the church. That's right. And they might not say nothing, just look at you. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Saw some on TV, and that's how you want to cut your hair. That's right. Hmm? Y'all getting this morning? Yes, Lord. Sister, you can't just do what you want to do with your hair. Are uh, uh, y'all listening to me, brother? Sister? No, no, you can't do what you want to do with your hair. Yes, sir. The Spirit said, not with bro the hair. I mean, you can't do what you want to do with your hair and be saved. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah, we don't we don't run out the fashion of the world. No. I'm not gonna a whole little sister not gonna look in the magazine and find something she like. That's right. Say, well, I want my hair looking like that. Then you look like a peacock. That's right. Green, yellow, orange, and blue. Or a two tone puppy. That's right. Different color. Can't do with you. So when you, in other words, this way here, when you you gonna do it when you you know you want to manage your hair, but when you get through with it, the folks look at it and say, you know, you, yeah, that's a holy woman there. That's right. They won't get you confused between you and Jezebel. That's right. A holy type of woman with that with that kind of spirit. That's right. Said not with broken hair. I mean, you just can't fix your hair up in a kind of way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh don't want you to fix your hair, uh, hair and, you, and you walk around looking like Barbie. He don't want you looking like Barbie. He wants you looking like Sarah. Right. Or Mr. T. Right. You're a holy woman. You serve Yahweh. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're a holy woman and you serve Yahweh. Yes, right. Come on, read it now. Not with broad hair. Not with broad hair. Or gold. Or go what, 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 or what, gold. what? You don't get wrapped up in all that stuff neither. Or gold or pearl. Or pearl. No, we or don't get wrapped up in all that stuff neither. No. Nope. No, we don't. Amen. It'd be very rare you hear a sister been jumped. Say <laughs> so what happened? She walked out the Walmart and they jumped her and took her gold. Yeah, you won't hear that. You won't not not a sister. Silver and gold they have no. That's right. That's right. No silver and gold. Yeah. With your sister, when she was in the world, she adorned Sister Renee. She adorned herself with gold. You said you're afraid for, and that before you came to church. Y'all told her she gonna get what? Y'all told her that you told yourself, sister, you gonna get mugged. Mm -hmm. And here we are, we get all this junk, all this gold, and we deck ourselves. We put it on our even our kids. They walk around with gold crosses and all that old kind. We put our own, our own kids in a home way. Because we want to fashion ourselves according to the world. That's right. I've seen young kids with gold around their neck. I have too. Lots yes. of it too. That's right. Hmm? Yes. That, that, you know, your spirit knows what's best for us. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Yes. heard that she had a gold teeth. Had a gold end on it too. For nasty, nasty Narvadine. That's what I call it. <laughs> yes, yeah, that gold had an end on it for Navadin. I interpreted it for her. When she came to the church and she took that off. She went to the den and stuck her teeth out and let them take that stuff off. Uh -huh. hey, hey, man, better to go ahead and let, get rid of it than have someone knocking it out. That's knocking right. it out and pulling it out. That's right. That's right. That That's why we don't get involved in all that gold stuff, brothers. That's right. 
That's right. You can come in with a gold watch. People are going to say, you need to get rid of it. That's right. My son came home one day with an old shiny watch with diamonds. Fake. They were fake. You folks don't know whether or not it's fake or not. That's right. He come to home and all that and that pride stuff. He had it in him and all that diamond stuff and, and uh, on it and all that. I said, son, go, because I'm his father. I care about him. Yes, sir. I said, go get rid of it. I said, go destroy it. But well, he didn't listen to me. I said, go destroy it. But well, he act like he didn't know what destroy it was. So I got a hammer. I said, Kim, I'm going to show you how to destroy it. And I got a hammer and took him in the, in the, in the garage. And I laid his watch down on the, on, the, on the concrete. Not a pillar, concrete. I didn't lay it on the pillow. I laid it on the concrete. And I took that hammer and I hit it. I said, this is utterly destroyed. Now, if he had listened to his father, he wouldn't be in jail right today. Amen. We're not here to be nobody's friend. We're here to, the ways of y'all always right and it's safe for us. So when we say he is our buckle, this is what we're talking about. When we say he is our, our protector, this is what we're talking about. Amen. That's right. Yes, he is. This is what, this is what we're talking about. That's right. He protects us. Amen. Hmm? Folks go and spend all that money on their cars and put on their, and they wake up in the morning and their tires are gone. Uh-huh. Five thousand dollars. It was nothing wrong with the tires they had on the car, and they took them off and went and got saw some stuff. The pride of life. The Bible talks about the pride of life. That's right. I had a man next door come to my house and said, uh, "You better check your car because someone going around stealing folks' uh, 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 radios because the uh, uh, radios out the car, stereo system out the car." I said, I'm not worried about it. No one want a cassette tape. <laughs> I wasn't worried about it. They were hitting everybody in the car. I'm not worried about it. I'm not, I'm not going to put all that stuff out. I'm not going to worry about all that. <laughs> told me I wasn't worried about it. He said, I, will you, I check your car. I said, ain't nobody. I just, ain't no one, they don't want what I got. They're looking at us. I don't want that. I can take it out and put it on the hood. They probably leave it right there. Walk right on by it. Don't even mess with it. <laughs> because the Bible teaches us we should come to the of men of low estate. We're not wrapped up in all technology and that, all that kind of stuff. That's right. Oh, y'all listen to me, brothers and sisters. We are happy people. Amen. We are, we are content with what we are, what we do have. Don't worry about all that stuff. There's something I never had to worry about. Amen. Amen. I, I won't have all that stuff in my house. I don't have to worry about it. I won't have all that expensive stuff. Amen. 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 I, Pastor Washington, would never go spend five thousand dollars on TV. No. Never. Amen. Some of y'all quiet, but I'm just what I won't do. Yeah, that's There's right. not a TV out there worth that kind of money. Amen. I'll wait till it's uh, uh, two hundred dollars. $300 before I go get it. But I, I wouldn't spend no $5,000. That's ridiculous. That's right. Because they cost, hey amen, they say it's the newest thing. It's the hottest thing. Well, you just too high for me. I can't have nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I would really be burned. Yes. That's right. I, could, I just couldn't do it. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's right. That's a car. Or $200 for a pair of tennis shoes. You got to be out of your mind. I keep on going to pay less. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, we find a young man out there. They found a young man dead, barefooted. Because someone shot him and took those $200 shoes he had on. That's right. That's why we don't do that kind of stuff, brothers and sisters. Are oh, y'all listening to me? Amen. 
That's why the Spirit is talking about all this here. That's why it's Bible, that's why it says what it says. Not with costly array. Costly array. Not with costly array. Costly array. So you get hit upside your head because you got that purse. That's right. Five hundred dollars. No, what a sister. You don't even make that kind of money. That's you right. got a five hundred dollar purse, all you got be twenty five dollars in your purse. That don't make no sense. That's right. That don't even make no sense. That's right. You got a five hundred dollar purse, and all you got a twenty seven dollars at the most at thirty dollars in your purse that you normally have. That's right. That's right. And a bunch of trash. Y'all know y'all care. <laughs> y'all know. I haven't seen a purse yet that makes sense to me with the stuff in it. I don't know. I don't know what's all that in there. <laughs> Be holding up a line because they got to, you know, trying to find stuff in there. I know it's in there. Well, I know. Well, I don't know about all that. But I wish you stepped to the side, let someone get it go ahead of you because I'm trying to get it to work. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I care. That just don't make no I don't, I, I, that's a woman thing, so I ain't gonna try to understand them because it don't make no I just, you know, this right here is just right for me. I, I, I mean, it, everything I need right here. That's all I need. I can get to it real quick. Is it hard to get to hold of it from somebody else? That's right. Amen. 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 Like I said, I haven't seen a purge yet. Come on, read. Amen. Not with broided hair. Not with broided hair. Or gold. Or gold. Or pearls. Or, pearls, or costly array. Or costly. Or costly. Array. Or costly. Array. Or costly. Array. Or costly. And you wonder why sometimes we call y'all to the side about certain things y'all may buy. Right. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit don't want you involved in all those things. That's right. No. That's right. You buying that stuff and you don't know how you're going to pay your life bill. Amen. All that kind of stuff. That's right. Amen. Spirit said, not with costly array. But which becometh women. Not with, not, not, not with costly array. Or costly array. But That's that right. which becoming women. Professing godliness. Professing what, 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 what? Godliness. Y'all getting this this morning? Yes, sir. In other words, everything we do, it should be professing what? Godliness. Everything about life should be what? Godliness. godliness. Everything about life should be what? Godliness. You can go godliness. take a picture and it's not professing God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hmm? As I said before, you can go buy a pair of shoes and you won't be professing godliness. That's right. Brother, you can buy a suit and you won't be professing godliness. That's right. You can go get a haircut, brother, and you won't profess godliness. That's right. Everything you do, everything we do, it should be all about professing godliness. That's right. You want your kids in the choir. Do you, do you want them in the choir to profess godliness? Yes, Lord. You want them to play instruments? Is, all, is it about professing godliness? Yes. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Going to college, it should be all about professing godliness, though. That's right. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. And if it's about professing godliness, then you won't have no problem. You, Amen. With, with the, the judgment of the church. Amen. What school your child should go to. That's right. This, it, this, uh, the church will never approve your, your child going to a college, amen, out of the state, That's away right. from the church. It will never approve that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Save you the trouble. Don't ask. So then he come the devil, and when you're in the flesh, you're in the flesh, he don't want my child to have education. Get the same education here. That's right. Well, it's a better college over there. I don't mean you're going to get a better job. Right. If you believe that Yahweh is your blessing, hallelujah, then it doesn't matter what school he go to. That's right. Because, you know, Yahweh is going to provide for you. That's right. He's the provider. That's he's, right. gonna, he's, gonna, he's the one going to make You're going to get the education, but he's going to make a way for you in life. That's right. 
You're going to learn, but he'll make a way for you in life. You don't have to go, amen, to Duke, Stanford, Harvard, Princeton. You don't have to go with all because y'all wait because you walk, you serve him and he's gonna open up doors for you. That's yeah, right. you're gonna get the knowledge, but he's gonna open up the doors for you. That's right. He's gonna make a way for you. And you better testify how when someone says, Well, I went to Harvard, you say, Yeah, but I went here, I went down the street. That's right. How do you get that your position? Because the Lord made a way. That's right. The God I serve made a way. I didn't have to leave the church. Amen. Amen. Is that right? To go get an education. That's right. That's right. There ain't no truth in that. We don't keep nobody back. No. Nope. Sometimes y'all make some crazy decisions That's that right. the Spirit is not going to approve. That's right. Strives against your soul. That's right. But now you now you now you're dealing with spirits, as the Bible said, that is warring against your soul. Yeah. That's right. That's right. This thing about preparing ourselves to meet the Master when He come back. Is it not? Yes. It's about meeting the Lord when he give, come back here. That's right. So whatever, all that we do, we want to pro, 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 profess, profess godliness. godliness. With good works. With what kind of work? With good works. With what kind of work? With good works. Everything about you, when you if you're involved in it, should, you know, the work should be good works. When we look and say, that's some good work. Brother, you made a good decision there. Sister, you made a good decision there. But next, you're not going to like. You're not going to like the report. Right. Y'all getting this this morning? Yes, Lord. All right, going back to Romans. For they that are, Romans 8 and 5. Yes, sir. For they that are after they the flesh. They that are after the flesh. Do mind the they do the mind flesh. the things. They do mind the things. They do mind the things. They do mind. They do mind. The Those that are after the flesh, flesh, they do mind the things. They do mind the things. They do mind. They do mind the things of the flesh. Of the flesh. When if you after the flesh, you do mind the things of, of the, the flesh. flesh. Yes. Now you're gonna you never understand the spirit when we said you can't wear that. Amen. That's right. If it's all about pleasing God, you won't have no problem. That's right. That's right. But if you're trying to be like everybody else. Amen. The men that don't fear God, then you're going to you, you gonna have a problem because you are after the flesh. It's so, all right. We don't listen to that kind of music. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. Not at all. I remember someone testifying the other day was someone who said, look, all we listen to is godly, uh, religious music. We don't listen to no jazz. Uh, jazz. Right. We don't listen to the out. We don't listen to no hip hop. Right. No. Nope. No classical. We don't listen to classical. No. Nope. We don't listen to funk. No. Nope. We don't listen to rock. Nope. And we don't listen to disco. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not at all. Nothing. Nothing but holy. All we listen to is holiness. That's right. That's right. Bible says, Amen. If, you're in, if you're in the mirror, let him sing. Spiritual song. No, put on, sing a little jazz so that you can hit. Spiritual song. No, sing a little jazz, help you through the day. Spiritual song. Put on a little phone. Spiritual songs. A little country. Spiritual songs. Spiritual songs. Spiritual songs. That's right. You ain't going to do it right singing. I was hearing that song when a man love a woman. But then you're going to want to love them. That's right. That's right. Amen. She's a freak. Then you're going to act freaky. That's right. That's, uh, she's a freak. That's right. Come on, never don't, don't miss a beat. You, you're a freak, you don't miss no beat. That's right. So that's why the Bible says spiritual song. That's right. Bang. Help. Me, oh Lord, to be what you want me to be. You going hey Amen. That's what, that's what you need to hear. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, help guide your mind the way that you ought to go. That's right. Y'all getting this this morning? Yes, Lord. It help guide your mind the way that you need to go. That's right. Yes, Lord. That's right. That's right. Oh Lord. Fight my battle. 
Because you, it reminds you that you're supposed you, that you on, that you're fighting, you fight that you're battle. in a battle. Right. You know how. Fight my battle. Amen. You know that you what you're going through that he can handle. He can he can help you through. So you say you know you know what you're saying. Right? You know how. Fight my battle. But you got on red light, <laughs> flashlight. That's right. Bumping no more with big fat women and all that. That's right. Hmm. Come on, let's get through. I want to finish. For they that are after the flesh, yes, sir. Do mind they the do the mind the thing that's of the flesh. But they that are after but they the spirit, that is after the what, what, what? The are you here about? Are you here to be saved to do the right thing to save the Lord? Amen. Amen. Both that the spirit, say, I'm coming, going to the church to hear what the spirit has to say to me. Yes, Hallelujah! So I can so I can hear what the spirit has to say, so I may know how I should walk, how I should love my husband. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I already heard, I heard what mama had to say about me. Mama told me to pour hot water on. Right. No, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna do that. No. Amen. My sister law said just 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 leave just, just break up with him. No, I can't do that. Let me go to the church and hear what the spirit has to say. Yes. To the church. Yes. Are y'all listening? Yes. Cause folks in the world they, they say, baby, if you're not happy, why you wanna stay in that marriage when you're not happy? The world don't understand that which is right. No, they don't. And these are the same church going folk. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yes, they are. That love to quote the scripture. Yes. This thing is not about what make you happy. This thing is all about what make the Lord happy. Yes. It's That's not right. about what make you happy. It's all about what's going to make him happy. And if, he have, and if he's happy, then amen, then you have eternal life. Because right. you can be happy and have him angry with you. Yes, Lord. So every time I talk to married folks on God bad the, the marriage could be, I'm always going to let them know, hey, hey, that's your wife. That's, that's right. your husband. You're going to have to love them. Got to. You're going to have to do them good. Got to. <laughs> yes. Amen. Despite what he's done to you yes. or what he may do to you. True. Amen. You're going to have to love your companion. Got to. And if you don't love him, when you meet God, going to ask him, why you, when you're in the day of judgment, when you meet him, going to say, why you didn't love your husband? Why you didn't love your wife like I commanded you? What you gonna say then? But I didn't have no feeling for him. Well, this love ain't about feeling. Lust is about feeling. Love is about doing. It's what you do. And lust don't last. That's right. Lust don't lust don't last. Nope. Why you think folks, they, man, they anywhere for us in this world and in couple, they don't they don't stay together long. They ain't love today, the day. Love the, they ain't love the day. Tomorrow, next week, they out of they not in love. They, what happened to the I remember when I worked for the school district with a young one young one uh, woman, girl there. And I used to hate to see her coming. I can always tell when she was in love, and I, I can always tell when she was out of it. Well, she wouldn't really come to me, she would always come to Sister Anderson. And I look, I say, here she comes, to Samson. I, I was a janitor working there. She was a student there. Matter of fact, she married my, my cousin. I told him, you don't want to marry her. I told him, don't, don't do it. I remember one day I was home, walking through the hallway, and I looked at her because the swimming pool was over there. And she, she was a, a lifeguard. And my cousin, he was on the diving board. I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. I saw them, they were looking at each other. I was like, oh boy. Amen. So he did a backward flip off the diving board. She was impressed. He swung, swimmed over there where she, where she was at. She was sitting up on the, you know, mm -hmm. lifeguard, they see chair. Lifeguard. chair. Mm -hmm. They started talking. And I looked at him, I said, Darren, he wasn't nothing just like I was talking to him. You don't want to get involved with her? A couple of weeks later, I, man, I come across my cousin Darren, and he told my marriage, I said, Darren, you don't want to marry her? And he said, oh, yeah, I want to know you don't either. I want her. I said, she wasn't, she in love today and tomorrow. I know. I work for the school district. I seen her from a freshman 
to her senior year, it was always the same thing again. In love, out of love. In love, out of love. Are they married today? Are they, are they together today? No. Because lust is just for, it's, it's just for a season. You get what you want, and then you're gone. Hmm? You want something new. Love is something that you show. It's not a feeling. It's something that you show. It's something that you just do. And so when God says, husband, you love your wife, you just got to go do it. She may get on your nerve, but you keep doing good. That's right. And then what's going to happen, that's going to perfect that love that you have. Yes, Lord. That, that, that life that y'all have together is going to perfect that sister uh, Justine was sharing. You can't help, but it's going to, Lord Spirit, you're always going to perfect it and make it to the point you say, I can't live without that man. He be said, I can't live without that woman. Yes, Lord. I got a witness here this morning. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can't do it. The Holy Ghost will perfect and make that thing, make your marriage work because God going to do it for you. The Lord is going to do this thing for you. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you're going to have some hills that you're going to have to climb together. But he's going to get you over because your shoe is in you. You and him, he's going to get over. And it's going to be, watch your marriage be perfected while everybody else be all torn up. That's right. That's right. And folks will be looking at y'all still together? Yeah, we still together. I've been to, I've been through four, 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 four wives already. And three husbands. Y'all still together? And he realized y'all more happier now and then than it was in the beginning. I'm going to write about that, brother and sister. Now, who did that for us? Who did that for us? That's right. Hallelujah. Yahweh does it. He makes this thing new. I'm about through here, but he makes this thing new for us. You want your marriage to work? Then you need to give yourself to the Lord. Other than that, I don't care how messed up your companion may be, and they can be messed up sometimes. Yes. Hmm? That's right. They can be messed up sometimes. Yes. But you make up your mind, you're going to say to the Lord and see what he do for you. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet Stan, did he bless you and your wife? A hundredfold. Uh -huh. How? A hundredfold. Both of y'all over the hill. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You're both over the hill. Y'all over the hill. Y'all going down. All right. Rolling down the other side. On the other side. With me and my wife and other folks. But sometimes, you know, you look at it, y'all just, and y'all looked around in, in these marriages that have been around here for a good while who allow the spirit to, to, to bless and deliver. Sometimes you see how they look at each other, they just with such. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Y'all always does that. Yes. Amen. Amen. Am I right about that wife? Such. Amen. You say, I want that kind of marriage. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's a delight. It's a delight to see. Yes, 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 well, yes wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, don't mess with the age. All right, all right. Don't mess with the age. Right. Other words, cause me and my wife went on our cruise. We, you know, we ran out of words to say. And so she told 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 her mom said, "Mama, we man, Ernie went on our vacation. We didn't run out of the words." You no know, feeling good about herself. Kathy, right. yeah, you ain't got no thirty-two years, neither. That's right. <laughs> By that time, you might have set it up. Set it on. That's right. Thirty-two years. Beat that. That's right. Rookie. That's right. <laughs> That's right, rookie. That's right. That's right. You got, got rookie status. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
green horn. I, I, I see uh, when I see Davion and Sarah that love that that it's just a beautiful thing to see. Yes, it is. They just they act like they the only one that owe my barbecue sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we work there too, you know. <laughs> we exist. <laughs> And they're just over there washing them dishes together and just, and I'm just looking. I said, look at that. She handed it to him, she looked up at him, she, and he looked down at her. Amen. It is so, I, I normally don't say this word, cute. <laughs> That's Michelle. <laughs> but it what? That's Michelle. That's Michelle and Nene. Yeah, yeah. Everything cute. You. you had your hand up to the captain. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now wait till you marry him, and you can't sleep. You want to sleep and he's snoring. You better remember, oh. <laughs> don't, don't kick him. You'll be going, uh. Am I right about that, Rachel? Amen. Go, am I right about that? Amen. Yeah, he snores, don't he? I, 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 I slept in a room with him only one night. During our brother concentration, you know, every year our brother, we know we, had, we, had, we, we, we would have our concentration. We come together and fast and pray. Brother, we got to get back at that, to, but, brother, but brother Chris can take part in it. So he come to me and said, Pastor, I can't sleep in my room with snow going. I just can't do it. I can't handle it. So he comes to the Pastor, can I sleep in here with you? I said, do you snow? No, no. I don't snow. <laughs> Brother will testify you're not sleeping in the room in there with me if you if you snore. You're just not gonna do you're it. Just not gonna do it. That's right. I'm gonna let you know right from the I'm gonna ask you from the beginning. Do you do you do you snore? First question. That's the first thing I'm gonna ask you. Do you snore? Sure is. Next question I'm asking, do you sleep well? All right. So he said, No, I don't I don't snore. <laughs> So I lay down, got all comfortable, ready to go doze off and have my dreams and visions at night. <laughs> Next thing you know, I. You start shifting gears. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't first, it was some hard, deep breathing first. <laughs> 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 So I can raise up and I turn my body around and crawl at the end of the bed and I look down at him. And he like this. Now that scared me when I saw that. People that ain't right to sleep like that. I mean, ain't right to be straight up like that. Hand that time. I ain't. I, I about ready to send him out the room then. <laughs> but then I thought about Harvey because that's how he sleep. <laughs> so Nene, you wake up. And he, he's like that. That's how, that's how that boy sleep. If you're looking at the headboard, I know there ain't nothing on the headboard, but that's just how he, he always slept like that. <laughs> so don't just want you to know, don't call me and ask for prayer. That's just how the boy sleep. <laughs> Next thing you know, he started snowing. I don't know, did I wake you up? Or did I let you sleep on? Uh, if it wasn't for my fasting and praying, I would have woke you up. That concentration. Yeah, concentration helped me to get through the night. But I didn't sleep that night. You say what? You, you remember saw, you saw a shoe? It wasn't there? Well, I didn't put it there. 
Paul's accusing him. But the next time we had a concentration, he didn't sleep with me. Next time, I passed, no, 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 no. You can't sleep in here. That's right. That was just one night. Uh, Nicole, you got plenty of patience, love. Let he still snore if he stop. He got better? Yeah. Maybe, amen. Or do you have more patience? Which one? He got better, do you have more patience? Rachel, what about your Lord? Where'd she go? All right, let's go on back to the strip, just if I can get, let y'all get, get out of here. For they that are after the flesh do uh -huh. mind the things of the flesh, mm -hmm. but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. Jump on down to the 39th verse. Yes, sir. Nor height? Uh, on, uh, what, about the 30s? For I am persuaded. Yeah, okay, yeah. 38. So Paul said here in 38, For I am persuaded. I, I am persuaded. That neither death. And, and you won't have to be persuaded too, brothers and sisters. While you're on this journey here, make up your mind that you're, gonna serve, you're not going to let nothing turn you around. Amen. Don't let nothing come between you and your marriage. Don't let nothing be be persuaded. That neither death, that neither death, nor life, nor life, nor angels, nor death, nor life, nor life, neither angels, nor, angels, nor principality, nor principality. Don't let no evil, no wicked spirit come up. That's right. Don't let no wicked spirit come up and destroy what Yahweh has given unto you. That's right. Nor, powers, nor principalities, nor so what, powers, what, what, what? Nor and sometimes powers. principality, power fights up against us. That's right. Principality that have you thinking that you're not blessed with God. That's right. That's right. Principality call you not to be satisfied with what, have, what Yahweh have already given you. Amen. Yes, sir. Huh? Right. That's right. Parents, y'all understand that? Yes, sir. You no, know, some parents, they look at the one child, or that child over there super smart. Right. Mm -hmm. And they take it out on their gay kids. Their kids not. What, what you call super small. Mm -hmm. Each child are different. All of them got their special gear. The super small one, a man can't play no drum. That's right. But your child can play the drum. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh, amen. We need the super small ones in the church, and we need the ones that know how to sing. Amen. Yes. Yes, Lord, y'all. Don't, don't feel like, hey, amen, hey, amen, there's that, something wrong with your family. Don't look at someone else's kids in church and try to compare your, your, yours with them. Amen. Don't do that. Don't do your child. Your child deserves better than that. Amen. Your child deserves a father and a mother love. Amen. And you love them for who they are. Amen. Why you can't be like little Michael? Well, he ain't little Michael. That's right. He's his equal. That's right. That's right. Elijah, he's unique. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Hey, he may not know how to kick a ball, <laughs> but he's unique. Yes. Yes, Lord. That's right. All these kids in here, you're, you know, and they all are special. And it's, a, it's the gift of God that Yahweh yes. have given unto you. That's right. So you love the children that Yahweh have given unto you. Yes, Lord. That's right. Well, you need to study harder. Right? You don't know how to spell. <laughs> you don't understand that because that other you see someone else child in there. Amen. Yes, right. uh, you didn't finish school. All right. So don't, so don't do that, brother. Y'all, father, mother, y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Don't do your child like that. Love your child. Yes, the children that y'all have given unto me, I love them. Yes, Harvey, Rachel, Varey. They are, they are my, they are, they are uh, my jewels that Yahweh have. I see Sister Becky raise a hand up. They are my jewels that Yahweh have given unto me. Yes, and I love my child. Amen. Even when Varey went astray, I still love, he's still my boy. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. 
But so, I, so what I do, I sit and wait. I'm waiting to the Amen to the Lord. Do I gave him the, the, let Yahweh deal with him? I, is he coming back? Of course he's coming back because I'm I, I have faith. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Him Mother. and Jennifer, my daughter-in-law back there. That, yeah, the reputed one back there. Yeah, that's her. We're gonna be a family again. Amen. She gonna come on in church with a modest apparel, with a Amen, with her little one. Her husband gonna be back up and conduct the praise service again. Amen. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. That's right. I have that kind of faith. I, I, I saw a little David back there. That's a sign. Yes. That's Hallelujah. a sign. Yes. Yo, he missing. He sure do. That's right. He missing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, brother and sister Turner, y'all just be strong. Amen. Y'all little ones will be running around, grand together. Together. Mm-hmm. And you'd say, you say, was it worth going through all the affliction? Oh, yes, it was worth going through all the affliction. Yes. Yes, Lord. It just, I'm about through here, but yeah, it's just a matter of time. But y'all love y'all children. And, and don't look down on them compared to other kids in, the, in this way. Amen. Amen. We love the children y'all have given unto you. Yes, Lord. I appreciate them. Yes, Lord. Appreciate them. Amen. Come on, that's finishing. I'm up to do it. Nor angels, nor now are you persuaded you're gonna you're not gonna allow none of these things turn you around. Nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor principalities, nor power. Nor now, and and we all gonna be faced with principalities and power. But you wait till your change come. Yes, Lord. You wait till your change come. You stay true to y'all way, and you just wait till your change come. Yes, and before it's all over. With, I say it again. I, I'm so happy for uh, Davion and, and Sarah Lee. Yes, Lord. I'm I'm so happy for Nathaniel and Elizabeth. Yes. I'm happy for them. I, I'm just happy for them. Yes, I Amen. begin to see a big change in her. Amen. Yes. And she getting that strength from Sarah Lee, though. I was talking to a uh, 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 Hannah Bear. Yeah. She Hannah is special. I told him, and nah, I ain't said the rest of y'all ain't special. All right, the devil lied to you. My goodness. That's right. But Hannah, yeah, I said everybody are different. We all are special in our own way. That's right. Yes. But I talked to her the other day. She coming in, she gave me a big old hug. And I told her, I said, uh, and I realized Hannah's about the only person, uh, young adult like that, that haven't never talked to me about marriage. Mm hmm. And I said, I don't see her chasing nobody. Amen. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe those in here are scared to chase her. I don't know what it is, but, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm just saying, but, but I ain't never seen her do it. She's about the only one, saw, and it came to my mind. I, I asked her, I said, baby, do you want to get married one day? And she looked at me, and Hannah is more mature than you think she is. Amen. She, she is a wise young sister. She's very wise. Amen. And in that look she gave me, you know, and she just said, and then our eyes began to get a little water, watery. And, uh, and her word was that I'm afraid. She said, yes, but I'm afraid. Well, I didn't understand, so you know me, I'm afraid of what? I said, afraid of what? She said, I'm afraid that I won't be a good wife. And that, that tells a lot. A lot of folks getting married, they don't, they don't even think about that. I want you, babe. That's the only thing they're thinking about. <laughs> That's the only thing they're thinking about. <laughs> but I looked at when she, and I looked at her, and I saw the sincerity that, that, that came through her. I mean, when she spoke that, and I'm looking in her eyes, and I'm a type of person, I like my spirit to just go into people. Just so it can come back. 
and give me a report. And I looked and I said, uh, sweetheart, you have no idea. You won't fail. You're going to be one of the best of all wives. Amen. You will be one of the best of all wives. That's someone that examined themselves. Yes, Lord. How are you going to do what's right if you won't even acknowledge what's in you? Right. And you can't even examine yourself. Amen. I wish they had another son. Amen. I, amen. I wish they had another son. Amen. 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 And, that's, 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 uh, and, she's, and that came out of her mouth. She go, uh, 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 I'm afraid that I will, wouldn't be a good wife. I said, because you say these words, that means you examine yourself. Amen. That's right. See, I, I don't say it to my ain't no, but, she said, but if, if I do what I do, Mary, it definitely will be someone in the church. Amen. Just, see, she, she, she's more sober than what, amen? Yeah. She's more sound and more sober. And I told her, I said, baby, I said, you don't realize this here. I said, but you have always been a leader. Yes, yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I said, when I saw something in you, in you when your mom came, I said, that, I call her name a Hannah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Hannah's a woman that, that has good understanding. Right. Yes, it is. Don't care how bad things get, Hannah knew what to do. When the lights went out in the house, the house of <laughs> Yahweh, she still knew what to do. Right. She prayed for a son. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yeah, that's a blessing. Yes. I don't know what all y'all looking for. I'm, I, 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 I can see y'all way in here, even yes. uh, among us. Yes. Well, we all have our weakness, but we all have our strengths, too. Oh, yes. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord. A couple more verses, and we're going to end this, finish this chapter, and we'll let you go. Come on. Nor powers, nor powers, nor things present, nor things, present, nor things to come, nor, things to come, nor height, nor, height nor, death, nor death, nor any, nor other, creature any other creature shall be, able shall be able to separate us from the shall love of Yahweh. Be no other creature shall be able to separate, to separate us from the love of Yahweh, to separate me, us, to separate us from the love from of Yahweh, who? the love of Yahweh, from who? the love of Yahweh. How many of y'all know Yahweh love you? Don't let nothing separate you from your love, from his love, from the love of Yahweh. Which is in which is, Yeshua Messiah. Which is Messiah. in who? Yeshua Messiah. That, that's the love of Yahweh. It's in Yeshua. So as long as we strive to be like Yahshua, but then we have the love of God with us. Amen. And Yahweh will bless us. Amen. We let him fight our battle, he will bless us. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Which is in Yeshua which is Messiah. Which is in Yeshua Messiah. Our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Let's take the words and let's apply it to our life. Let's be strong, let's overcome. Are oh, y'all listening to me, saints? Yes, Lord. Let's be strong and let's overcome. If we do that, we'll meet the Lord in peace. May Yahweh bless you, may Yahweh keep you. Amen. El Eternal.